it's beep with growing vegetables with beep uh, I want to show you around my own garden that's at home to see what you can grow in small spaces so this is um, a planter um, that's about 50 by 50 and about 30 from the floor uh, Mark made that for me but I grow lettuce in there I've also had some cabbages in there which worked out well I grew French beans in a tray which is also homemade it's a very low one I was growing lettuces in in this planter and I had a few French beans over from planting in something else so I tossed them literally tossed them all in there and I hoped that they would come up and they haven't failed but I didn't realize they were climbers um, and they've been climbing on the ground but doesn't matter they've also been climbing into uh, sunflowers which are slowly dying because it's autumn well it's coming into it feels very autumny uh, you can see the lovely French beans I've got in there we also made a, a small greenhouse that we grow tomatoes in and this is the yellow ones the tomatoes are grown in the soil straight planted in the soil but the pepper i put three peppers four peppers in a pot the 30 centimeter pots they work very well it's got a lot of peppers uh got other tomatoes on this side and these are two aubergine plants that are growing they call the white aubergine I call it a green aubergine but and they're lovely there so you can grow watercress in a pot it's really quite easy um, this is a regrow from a previous sowing I had so I've got to clean off this little all these old old bits of previous watercress uh, which I um, we also have some fennel growing here and spinach which is finally coming up it is in the planter this planter has a lid which can come down quite easily which is nice for the winter crops because if i grow lettuce in there i can close the lid and the plants won't be affected so much by the the cold this is another one this is lettuce different colored lettuce the birds have been nibbling at these, but you've got a share, haven't you? I've grown carrots in these planters. As you can see, we have got several planters in our garden. Uh, these two had potatoes in, but now we've got celeriac and a beautiful calendula, which seeded itself there. More carrots. I'm going to sow turnips in this one. And this one is spring onions and more carrots. And then I've got potato bags, which somehow uh, wildly grown raspberries, various herbs, thyme and oregano, which is I'm drying, uh, rosemary, chives, more rosemary, parsley, a wormwood, courgettes in. Um, potato bag thingies that you can buy on one of those famous online shops this is a yellow courgette and this is a green courgette which both need picking and this is a sort of a, a whitey courgette they all taste the same thing. but it's nice to have the different varieties of colors it's another courgette they, these are all grown in pots so just trying to show you what you can grow at in your own house around because some people say I don't have space which is true that's an echium which is a, a beautiful flower uh, here I've got peppers little purple ones they look like chilies but I think they're an ordinary pepper because they're not hot now we've got lovely sunflowers been really really lovely this year
here are some artichoke plants that I'm growing in pots sage basil that's going to seed and this is melons there's a melon here I've got melons really nice bit of slug damage there's another one where's another one there's a few other ones but I can't see them now we've shown some carrots in in the ground we do like carrots and then we've got the french beans here we've sown the in the sown some french beans here yes yesterday so this is the cucumbers which are actually producing very well uh we love cucumbers and as you can see we've got them surrounded by protection because they get very if you grow them outside like we do they're very prone to wind damage so we just put something around them One mistake i grew these cabbages from seed in a planter that you saw just now um the white butterflies were around but before i planted them i checked each plant well i obviously didn't do a great job we've been around and taken the caterpillars off but uh hopefully they'll be all right oh, we'll have some caterpillars which is not my favorite but say the red cabbage there they don't seem to be too badly damaged it's more the purple sprouting but hey ho next time when i sow them into my planter i will cover them with some mesh like this so that the butterflies can't touch it so we're trying to grow as many vegetables so we're sort of self-sufficient for the winter um i think we will be we've got a lot of potatoes gonna come we should be okay for the for the springtime up to the springtime as i've also been canning stuff so saving it uh in jars i bought a special saucepan so i could start canning the food excess food we have now so we could eat it in the winter time as you can sort of hopefully see this is a, just a small area and i want to show you that you can grow in any area even if you can't keep enough for winter you can grow for yourself enough for yourself or maybe not have to buy the lettuce all the time or the cucumbers because many plants will grow in in pots so i hope you like the video and if you do could you would be very happy if you like and subscribe thank you